this video, I will be teaching you how to solve chapter 6-3, number 24. The problem states to find the solution to each matrix equation. In order to find the solution to this matrix equation shown below, I will be using inverse matrices. In order to solve this equation using inverse matrices, the equation first needs to be written in matrix form, which in this case it already is, but for the sake of this video, I will be rewriting it again. So, the matrix form of an equation is as follows. Matrix A times matrix B X equals matrix B. So, in other words, it's what we already had. So, now we need to isolate the X matrix. And you do this, basically, by multiplying each side of the matrix equation by the inverse of A. That will, that will make this over here equal to 1. So you're basically left with the equation X equals inverse A times matrix B. So now we need to find out what the inverse of matrix A is. So we first go into our graphing calculator, go to second, wait, first turn it on of course. Go to second, matrix, go over to edit, matrix A, make sure it's 2 by 2, then enter in the values. Okay, now go back to second mode, go back to second matrix again, matrix A, and then just push this little x negative 1 thing. And go to math, fraction, and that will give you the inverse matrix of our equation. So that now leaves us with the following equation. Okay, now we have to go back to our calculator. Okay, now go to second matrix, go to B, enter in your, vi enter in your values for B, which I've already done. Now go to second mode, and since we already have that answer from 4, just go times. Now go back to second matrix B, and you should get this. This is the answer to our problem. So this leaves us with the following matrix equation. With x1 equaling negative 1, x2 equaling 4, y1 equaling 0, or y2 equaling 2. Or if you're being asked to solve for each individual variable, this would be your answer. Still x1 equaling negative 1 x2 equaling 4, y1 equaling 0, and y2 equaling 2, just depending on whether or not they want you to find a matrix or individual va variables. So these would be the answer to your problem, depending on what form they wanted the answer in. Once again, this is how you solve chapter 6-3, number 24. We have solved the equation using inverse matrices and we have gotten a new matrix with the values of x1 equaling negative 1, x2 equaling 4, y1 equaling 0, and y2 equaling 2. Thank you.